everyone, thanks for stopping by. I wanted to share with you today my Aldi grocery haul. We got quite a few organic things today. We spent more than we normally do, but I was starving when I went to the grocery store, so that's what happens. So let me show you what we got. Uh, starting over here, we have just some of the gallon freezer bags, and then we have this um, rosemary olive oil quinoa blend. I really like this. I I love quinoa, how good it is for you, but it's so bland and this is just easier to whip this up like with chicken or something rather than me trying to do something to it myself. Some non-food items we got, my husband picked up this grill brush. It was like two bucks and it looks pretty intense, but he got that for himself. And we have these Reuben bites. This is like a treat item for my husband and I when we have like date night. I got this, um, see I was hungry, I grabbed a bunch of junk. Um, this Parmesan pasta salad. We're going to have a hamburger and picnic style night. So I'm going to make that for that. Some green bean fries. I got those to maybe entice the kids to eat some green beans. And then we have some half and half for our coffee. Some sea salt pita crackers. My husband loves taking those to work for his lunch. I got a can of organic lentil soup for myself in case I don't have time to eat lunch one day or cook lunch. Some sliced beets, those go on a salad that I'm making. And some fat-free refried beans. These are actually steamed, they're not refried in case you're not familiar with these. Um, but it's like a low fat, or fat-free rather, protein. And um, I use this to make uh, like burritos for my lunch. Some strawberries, two packages of lunch meat, some roast beef and some turkey. Some dill pickles for my husband. Uh, what is this? Some Parmesan cheese. I got these for my little guy since he's obsessed with Star Wars. Some BB-8 from the new Star Wars movie um, silverware for him. Those were on special. Some maple flavored bacon. Two things of eggs. Some um, buffalo wing cheese. This is really good. This is like a specialty item that they don't normally have. I actually picked some up last week and it's really, really good. I take like turkey and like roll it up in there and eat that for lunch sometimes and it's really yummy. And also got some Munster cheese to go on our burgers and some regular um, like processed cheese for our like grilled cheese sandwiches for my kids. And my husband picked up four things of their tortellini uh, mushroom, basil, pesto, cheese, and I think that's another mushroom back there. Um, he just really likes this and it's something to kind of keep in the pantry for when we run into a situation where we don't have time to cook dinner or we don't have a plan or something comes up. It's something really quick that we can make, but it's not something that we'll like eat all this week. It'll just stay in the pantry. And um, some organic macaroni and cheese for the kids lunch. If they choose to eat it, my son will not eat macaroni and cheese, but uh, sometimes my daughter will if he's eating something that she doesn't particularly care for. And um, some multi-grain Aldi version Cheerios. Some organic bananas. And or some grapes. Some whole almonds. Um, their artesian lettuce. I like, I really like this thing. It seems to like, I'll show you here. It seems to last forever and it's like right straight from the garden like these are super dirty like you have to really really wash them but um you get four different kinds of lettuce in there and it seems to last quite a while and it's pretty tasty so we like that a lot and we also got some pears and some broccoli some of those little like mandarin oranges my son calls them halos because he's seen the commercials for halos um, some Greek yogurt, some regular yogurt, garlic powder. These are for me. I'm trying to cut back on how much sugar I eat because I eat way too much. So this is like a low sugar snack bar, candy bar, whatever, for when I get that sugar craving, especially at night. It kind of tastes like a Snickers bar, only not as many peanuts in it. But it's, it's doing the trick. It's hitting my sugar craving pretty well and it's only got one gram of sugar, so I really like these. And um, some organic avocados. These were actually cheaper than the non-organic and they looked a lot better too. Some blackberries, some 
uh, chicken sausage. My husband really likes this chicken feta. This is the Never Any um, line. If you're not familiar with that, it's like Never Any antibiotics or hormones or anything like that. So not technically organic, but better than, you know, the normal stuff. Some organic grass-fed beef. This, we got three of these. It was on special this week for, um, I think a little over $5 a pound. Um, and then we have some organic baby carrots for my son, some asparagus, some zucchini. I picked up a box of these cranberry orange muffins, not typically something I ever get, but like I said, I was hungry and they sounded really well. And um, I also picked up this um, mole sauce and I'm going to try this on some chicken. It was super cheap, like it was a dollar something. And if I was to make my own mole sauce, it would be a lot more than a dollar. So I figured I would give it a try. If it's terrible, then I won't buy it again. But who knows, maybe it'll be delicious. And I also got a loaf of bread. It's already in the uh, pantry. It kind of got mashed by a bottle of laundry soap that we picked up that also didn't make it up here. My kids were starting to put things away before I was quite ready. So that is what I got today. We spent more than we normally do. We usually are right around $100, and today we were way high at $140.73. But um, that's what happens when you go to the grocery store and you're hungry. And we did pick up a couple um, pantry stock up items and a couple of non-food items too. So that is what we got, and I will show you my meal plan in just a minute. Okay, so um, these are the things that I couldn't find originally because they didn't make it onto my countertop. That's some vanilla almond milk, some um, organic apple juice for the kids, some free and clear laundry detergent. I have not tried that brand, but I'm gonna give it a shot. And um, it was on sale this week. And then some organic chicken broth, some sweet Italian turkey sausage. I'm gonna use these to make a uh, Italian turkey sausage and kale soup. I have potatoes in my pantry for that and I have to pick up the kale someplace else and I also grabbed these cookies um, because they were at the checkout line and I was starving and they looked really good and it was like two bucks for a ton of cookies so um, as you can see I broke into them so did my kids and um, they're really good so there you go <laughs> okay so here's my meal plan for this week I have the kale and sausage soup I have uh, my favorite salad which is a salad that has chicken and beets and avocado and bacon on it and I apologize that it is crazy loud in here right now. I'm trying to get through this as fast as I can. And then I have some tilapia in the freezer. So one night we're gonna have just tilapia and some fresh veggies. Then we're gonna grill out and have burgers and broccoli salad. And then we're gonna have chicken mole with some rice and some veggies. And I don't have the other two nights of the week because my mother-in-law is coming to town. So we're probably, we'll go out to dinner with her and then we have a wedding that we're going to. So in reality, the groceries that I purchased today are probably gonna last me for about two weeks instead of one week. So that makes me feel a little bit better about going over budget to that 140 mark. Um, but that is my grocery haul for this week. If you like videos like this, please let me know. Give this one a big thumbs up. And if you'd like to see some other meal planning um, type of videos, like for lunches or breakfast or whatever, just let me know in the comments and we can make that happen. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.